fire signs i hope you're doing well this is going to be your daily for june 17th going to the 20th okay so we are going to get into your energy deck so we'll also be going into the tarot to find out what's going on for you guys in love from the 17th to the 20th i didn't do anything on the 15th to the 16th because one i needed a break first and foremost um also there was really nothing going on for me um, that I felt, you know, cool to do readings. I was going to do bi-weekly readings, but I was like, nah, let me just start on July's. So I have started on July's. By the time you're seeing this, um, certain signs should be up for July. I'm going to take my time with those. Um, and there's a full moon on the 17th of June, okay? So uh, that's a strawberry full moon. It's a great wish fulfillment moon. It's a great moon to deal with wish work if you're, like, doing candle work and you have a, a certain thing or certain goal that you want to achieve you can do that okay on this particular full moon which i believe is going to be on monday the 17th okay if you need a personal reading from me fire signs you can go to the link in the description you'll be able to go to my website and book a personal reading for your situation make sure you after you uh submit your payment you hit return to merchant so you'll be able to go back to my website and send the information that you need to send to me okay so let's get to it, fire signs. Let's get into the chakra deck first and foremost. So let's see what's going on with fire signs from the 17th to the 20th. I am trying to work on the audio, so if you're having a hard time hearing me, I apologize, but I am trying to work on getting the audio as loud as I can get it, all right? So that's what I have for you, all you complainers in my comments. But everyone else who's not complaining, I love you. Thank you so much, all right? But, you know, you have to address people sometimes because they just be getting out of pocket. All right, so <clears throat> the first card that we have coming out is the self-worth card, okay? So uh, sacral chakra energy. Someone's got to level up their self-worth a little bit before they can come into this relationship. So what does this mean? Does this mean that someone isn't good enough for the other person? No, that's not what this means. It means that someone doesn't feel like they are good enough for someone else or someone is not um, vibrating at the vibration that they need to be to be in this type of connection. So somebody may have a higher vibration or be in a higher um, vibration as far as life than another person, meaning someone's experience abundance and the other person's experience lack. Okay, this could be a lack of love, could be a lack of money, whatever that may be. It's definitely confusion here. And we have insecurity. Someone doesn't feel like they're good enough to be in this relationship. And this is why they're not making a move. And you want to know who it is, guys, that's doing it? <laughs> Other than it definitely could be a Capricorn for some of you with the devil card here. This is your divine masculine for a lot of you. Okay? Now, for some of you with the perception card coming out, your divine masculine is in another relationship that does not serve them and they need to get out of that. The reason why they're in that relationship is because they, not ha they have not leveled up their self-worth. Can it be the divine feminine? Of course it can be. But the discovery card for me in this deck is the card of the divine masculine. Okay. You also, some of you are dealing with a person who's very self-centered. I won't call them the narcissist word, but they are very self-centered. So Capricorn energy, definitely. Queen, queen or king of pentacles person, definitely okay this person needs some healing okay they probably work too damn much all right and because of that they tend to isolate themselves from their own personal growth not just yours okay victim trying to be too perfect okay for who maybe someone around them their mom their ex i don't know you guys should definitely watch the earth sign reading because earth signs have entered this reading through energetic ener energy because this is the same energy that earth sign was getting someone who needs to level up their self-worth someone who needs to go through a spiritual awakening and understand that the circumstances that they're in right now are not beneficial for them as a person as a soul whatever okay so this could be very well your person or you it's mainly, I'm coming up as the divine masculine energy. So if you are a divine feminine watching this, this could be what you're experiencing from your divine masculine or the person that you are interested in on that level, okay? So, let's see what's in the energy oracle deck for you guys. No, that didn't take long. Yeah, see, you know, wow. Okay, so let me see if I can get that card back really quick. I'm probably not gonna be able to get it back. Some of you have someone 
who's sitting here like this, insecure as hell, anxiety. I'm not good enough for fire sign. They deserve better than me. I've done something in the past that's unforgivable. Um, I deserve what I'm in right now. They may not be showing this because this person does not show their insecurities. So you would probably never know it about this person, but this is how they really are on the inside, okay? But all they gotta do is walk through this door of personal healing and happiness and they would be good. This is what you represent to them, fire sign, but are they ready to make that decision? Are they ready to really heal and, and really work on themselves? Okay, and, and, and be in a connection that's good for them. Be with somebody who treats them well. I think so. Blossoming abundance, empress energy. But I don't think it's gonna happen the way that you may perceive it to happen. So some of you may be upset because things are not taking place the way that you would like them. The solution, which is this is a six, the solution to your problem with this person may happen in a way that you weren't expecting, okay? But I do feel like they will come out of this energy. But the main thing, if you're dealing with someone who is BSing the connection, the, the core reason is because they don't feel like they're good enough. This could be, for some of you, well, they're in a third party, that's the reason. Well, their mom doesn't like us together, that's the reason. No, the main core reason is they don't think they're good enough. Because if you know your worth, you're not going to be in a relationship that doesn't serve you. And you're not going to let anybody's dead ass opinion ruin your life. Like dead end, not vibrational with my energy opinion like do you even know me how is that even the right opinion for my energy type of opinion you know like when you hear somebody who's like i don't know like you're not an outdoorsy person you tend to be a more of a hermit i don't know and this person's like well maybe you should start a garden this summer you're just like do you even know me like you better off suggesting me to more to to join a book club than to do a garden it's like those are the type of opinions that somebody may be dealing with Okay, something that's not right for them, but might be right for that person. Okay, it's an ulterior motive with that opinion. So definitely reflecting the earth sign energy, but definitely reflecting that you or someone that you're dealing with fire sign does not feel that they are good enough for better things. Because when you start to feel like you are, then things around you start to manifest differently. Okay, and this is all from personal experience. Okay, I'm only speaking from personal experience. I've been through it. So let's get into the tarot and see what's going on for you and your partner from the 17th to the 20th. Fire signs. Let's see what's going on with fire signs from the 17th to the 20th with their partner. Fire signs. What's going on with fire signs from the 17th to the 20th? Fire signs. Three. Alright, two. Oh Lord, not that again. Okay, so the overall energy is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so yeah, Earth sign reading is definitely going to resonate with a lot of you who are dealing with Earth signs. Go on over there and check it out. I might even link it in the description or in the comments because you guys have the same damn cards and you guys, I shuffled. Okay, I shuffled before I started this. So yeah, so for your partner fire signs, okay, so... In the earth sign video, I tried not to read this as a third party, but because of the other card I already saw coming out with it, some of you, this is a third party situation that you're in, okay? We already talked about that. They're in this because their self-worth is low, okay? Anybody who lies and cheats or manipulates to deal with two different people at once without making it very clear that they want to be single or not have something attached, or if they are in a committed relationship and they decide to go and cheat and lie and be with another person, their self-worth is low. Now, am I talking about poly people? People who just are accepting that they are not going to be committed to one person and they're open about that? No. I'm talking about people who lie, okay, who are not honest. That is a lower vibrational behavior. So for some of you fire signs, you are dealing with someone who feels that that is the best way to go about the situation is by dealing with two people and not being clear and honest with both of them, okay? I do feel like you will get communication from this person, fire signs. We have the eight of wands. So you also may feel some sort of like movement with this person. You may feel like you get communication that moves the relationship forward, or you may feel like um, 
you guys are progressing you know the eight of wands is moving forward so this person is going to start taking some action but i do still see this third party energy here now with the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck are they willing to let go of this energy yes ten of wands and the empress it could be a wife it could be a taurus that they're with it's going to be nerve-wracking as hell because that nine of swords is that insecurity we saw in the uh in the chakra deck and the anxiety we saw in the energy oracle deck so this new beginning for them is going to drive them crazy their nerves are going to be out of freaking whack it's a spiritual awakening there this is something that they for some of you they've been dealing with for nine years this could be someone that they've been knowing for childhood this is going to change their life this wheel of fortune means that something is significantly going to change by them letting go of this empress burden whether it's their mother their sister their wife whoever their husband okay someone they have children with it's going to drive them crazy but i feel if they just accept that there's better out there ace of pentacles four of wands and the nine of cups they're, they're not even gonna be they're gonna be like what was i so afraid of like why wouldn't i let that shit go like you know what i'm saying they're, they have so much better for them if they just you know accept that the end is here and it's time for something new they will they will slowly but surely that's why i feel like a lot of you are dealing with an either earth sign or an air energy okay taurus has shown up here libra is also here okay so let's see what your energy is like yeah <laughs> this is so crazy three of wands this was in the earth energy in same position and you guys are like why do we care about what's in the earth video because some of y'all are dealing with earth signs okay so that's why for y'all in the comments so you don't have to comment that now because i already answered it you comment something nice all right so your energy is the devil card the eight of wands and the ace of swords okay so this tells me also same card from the earth sign reading in the same position that you are not taking on anything lower vibrational if it's a capricorn and they're coming with bullshit you're blocking it eight of swords um a lot of you desperately desperately want clarity from someone you will demand it ace of swords okay and it will come because you demanded it so keep your vibration high and block out whatever this devil energy is for a lot of you this is why i said it was a third party devil energy is third party with marriage involved so infidelity in a marriage it could also be someone's vices like drugs sex addiction okay you're ready to cut through the bullshit with the ace of swords you don't want it anymore so you're going to be like i'm waiting three of wands here i'm waiting for you to come through with some very some clarity a plan if not don't bother me eight, eight of swords if not please keep that lower vibrational shit over there where you're at until you're ready for something serious because i don't have time for it okay now remember guys this is a daily so dailies tend to be vice versa so it could be the fire sign that's doing this to the cross watcher so cross watcher watch this as if i'm talking to you about the other person okay so if it's not you doing this uh cross watcher be like oh well it's the fire sign doing that it could very well be the fire sign dailies are always can always be reversed when i watch them they come up reverse a lot for me okay especially if i'm watching the other person's video it's their reading so of course the reader is going to talk to them like they're talking to them, the person i'm dealing with right it, it makes sense to some people but i guess for some people it's just hard to understand that fact so it could definitely be reversed so i see you protecting yourself fire sign from their lower vibrational behavior you're protecting yourself from any possible third parties or any vices because i'm telling you some of you this third party may not even be a physical person it could be an addiction Third, three of cups could be drinking it could uh be partying it could be drugs okay they could have or it could be their friends who are bad who are bad uh influences on them okay so whatever this devil energy is to you in your situation fire signs you're not dealing with it even if it's literally a capricorn you want clarity ace of swords you're tired of it the devil card and the eight of swords for some of you it's been going on for a while eight weeks eight years however long this is applying applying to you could be your whole relationship with this person and you've had enough so yes you will wait for clarity um not wait as in your twiddling your thumbs not dating anybody but i'm saying for this connection specifically 
The only way you're going to move forward with this person fire sign is if you have straight clarity about where it's going in the future. Okay? Let me tell you the reason why they can't give you the clarity yet is because they don't know their damn selves. I do feel there will be a breakthrough because you demand it. You do not accept anything less. You're like, you know what? Nah. Because they're like, hey, fire sign, eight of wands. Hey, come see me like you used to. Or hey, let's hang out like we used to. Or let's do that lower vibrational thing that we've been doing. And you're like, nah, bruh, I'm good. I need some real truth. Like, what, what, what you really got for me right now, okay? You're basically forcing them to level up in a sense. Not forcing them, but you're, you're letting it be known that you're not taking anything less anymore, okay? So that, to me, is kind of forcing a level up because if they want to be with you, they're going to have to level up, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Please leave a comment if it resonated. Please also leave a like. Um, that also helps the video circulate. And you can also share it, all right? Subscribe if you want to see more dailies because they are coming and you can also book a personal reading by going to my website in the description Okay, thank you so much fire signs. I love you from your fellow fire sign. Bye